What is going on? These things destroyed my world. The snap to our hole in our dimension. Now this threat is here. The world is in chaos. I need a new team. I need an Avenger. What about Thor? Off world. Doctor Strange. Unavailable. Captain Marvel. Don't invoke her name. Mr. Stark trusted me. I am not gonna let him down. We have to stop them. Welcome to the Avengers. You got gifts, Parker. The world needs that. I've got this. What is good YouTube, what's you here with a video on potentially the biggest clue that we've had so far about what is going to happen in the next phase of Marvel movies. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos. We're currently giving away tickets to go and watch Spider-Man Far From Home. I would draw the winner when I do my review for the movie next Thursday when the embargo lifts, but I won't watch it till Thursday night. So I will post my review next Friday, and that is when the winner will receive an email from me. So all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and let me know down below what is freaking going on, or just say that you wanna enter the competition. So, careful for spoilers, because we're not actually gonna talk about spoilers. We're gonna talk about alleged post credit scene, but in the latest TV spot, I think we have confirmation that something that I said months ago I might have kind of been right about it, but I picked the wrong character. So, if you go back on my channel about five months ago, I said that Nick Fury was never going to be in this movie correctly. I said it was going to be Chameleon. As we know, the biggest ongoing conspiracy theory is this. The Sinister Six will be the grounded level villain for Phase 4 for Spider-Man, etc., Although there is no confirmation officially anywhere for that theory. But if you listen to the trailer I played, I played it on purpose. Why? Because Spider-Man goes, what about Captain Marvel? Then the alleged Nick Fury says, don't invoke her name. Why would he say don't invoke her name? Nick Fury and Captain Marvel, they're pretty tight. But except for the Captain Marvel movie, he hasn't really spoken to her in years why would nick fury say don't invoke her name i'll tell you why because this is not nick fury and it's not chameleon but i still do believe that chameleon will feature in spider-man far from home although it's not confirmed but i'm pretty sure dimitri's character is chameleon so i'm pretty sure nick fury in spider-man far from home will actually be a scroll and that is why the alleged nick fury says don't invoke her name. So if you haven't seen the Captain Marvel movie, it's out on digital download now, absolutely doing insane sales. That movie did ace. So essentially Captain Marvel saved the scrolls from the Kree. So essentially, don't invoke her name would imply that Captain Marvel is a god. She's like a queen to the scrolls. So Nick Fury saying don't invoke that name, it does not really fit with his characteristic. He doesn't blow smoke up anyone. Just think of all the kind of funny altercations that he's had with Iron Man. The first time he met Iron Man, AKA Tony Stark, he says, you think you're special, something like that. And then he said, there's lots of other heroes out there. You just don't know it. So he's not gonna blow smoke up anyone's ass, is he? No, no guys, he's not because this is not our Nick Fury, which is interesting. So, careful for spoilers, I'm about to go over the said, but supposed, alleged, because I'm not gonna say it's confirmed post credit scene, because I've not watched the movie, it's not coming from a credible source, and I don't really want to know if it's true, but an alleged, an alleged, ladies and gentlemen, post credit scene says that Nick Fury and Maria Hill in a Spider-Man, Far From Home, they're not even in the movie. Supposedly, it is a scroll, for both of them and it makes sense allegedly they are either on holiday or they're on submission in space which doesn't really make any sense but if you go back to that clip where it says don't invoke her name nick fury would not smoke anyone like that he would not kind of give anyone that kind of 
prop he would not give props to, to anyone like that especially captain marvel even though she is one of the strongest characters in the marvel cinematic universe now you're probably thinking okay nick fury could be a scroll your title says secret invasion avengers 5 yeah that's where we're going with this because if they are on earth two scrolls there could potentially be an avengers 5 secret invasion confirmed now kevin feige has already said they are not closed they're an open book when it comes to doing greater projects secret wars secret invasion as we've said on this channel multiple times guys secret wars is going to take a long time to invoke because you need the fantastic four you need the x-men you need galactus you need dr doom you need the beyonder you need the living tribunal you need a lot of new characters before you can invoke that storyline but during the captain marvel movie we were introduced to the scrolls we already know we're getting captain marvel 2 and we know avengers endgame ends in 2023 so is this a secret nod to the fact that they are building up the secret invasion where the scrolls essentially pretend to be humans, etc., etc., and we might actually meet the secret scrolls, the super scrolls. Now, this will be very interesting. Now, there is no confirmation about this, but it's just really interesting, and I'm really surprised that no other person, before I made this video, I Googled it, not on YouTube, no other person has even thought about this. So, it's pretty interesting. I've looked on Reddit, it's nowhere to be seen that there could be an indication that this altercation saying don't invoke a name could actually imply that they are already winking from behind the camera about what's coming next. Now, you've got to put that forward and think, Mr. Gavin Feige has said he's not going to say anything to after Spider-Man Far From Home. Of course, he's confirmed they will be revealing stuff at San Diego Comic-Con and at Disney 23 in August. So, what are they going to be talking about? Well, after Spider-Man Far From Home, there's two scrolls potentially in this movie, potential post credit scene, potential spoiler. They could go, Ye oh yeah, we're basically going to build up to Secret Invasion at some point, which will be cool because like we said, guys, they've got lots of slots for the next four years, but I really can't see another Avengers movie for at least three to four years. But if you look at it from a financial point of view, Disney have shareholders, they have investors. Except for the Captain Marvel movie, none of the other movies actually made that much money. Now, I'm talking about two billion plus except for avengers 3 and avengers 4 captain marvel smashed 1.1 billion and that was a solo movie so they're gonna have to do another team up movie very very soon now we know because obviously they are shooting the black widow movie currently there's lots of footage being released on twitter and stuff like that we talk about that good stuff on other videos now that does look pretty cool the black widow footage does look cool there looks like there's some motorbike chase that looks absolutely fantastic so it's going to be very interesting to see did we already get the first official confirmation during spider-man far from home because you gotta remember this might be sony but it's still made from Marvel Studios, Marvel Studios CGI team, Marvel Studios, all this. But is Sony misleading us in trailers? Because Marvel did that quite a bunch of times to the point where they made special scenes for the trailers. Now, if this is actually a real scene, it could be hinting at the secret invasion coming in the next five years. Don't invoke her name. Why would Nick Fury, I know I've said this a few times, Nick Fury would not say that. His characteristic, I've already called it out five months ago when I thought Nick Fury in this movie was actually chameleon. Now, I do think Chameleon will be in the movie in some capacity, and he's actually Dimitri, the master of disguise. That is going to be cool. I actually can't wait to watch the movie on Thursday, but obviously I'm not going to spoil anything once I watch it. But this is just a theory based on a TV spot that we've had. Like I said, I do not think anyone else has spoken about this on the, on the YouTube, at least, because I googled the title for this video, and no one else is talking about it. So guys, like always, let me know what you think down below. And we are only 27,000 subscribers away from 100,000 subscribers. And when we get to 100,000 subscribers, I will be giving away a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X. Or if it takes us until the next PlayStation or the next Xbox, we will give away one of them. But the good thing about this channel, guys, is the competitions on this channel are real. You know, every time I give something away, I put it on my Instagram stories, 25,000 plus 
followers on there at warstew i put it on the community tab so you can see said winner get in their gift i like to kind of show you guys give it verification that the competitions on this channel are 100 real so guys let me know down below does this scene in spider-man far from home confirm the secret invasion is already planted it started in the captain marvel movie with the scrolls being introduced in some capacity there were scrolls already on earth during infinity war and endgame but we didn't get to see them and maybe they are planting the last seed for the secret invasion in the epilogue the ending of phase three before we get the announcements for phase four potentially a san diego comic-con which is only three weeks away well technically four i guess no three weeks away and or it could be at disney 23 in august but either way i will keep you up to date with all the latest and greatest marvel dc video going pop culture kind of videos because we are expanding guys so like always i will catch you in another video but first please like subscribe and comment i'll catch you in another video very soon catch ya later